Yes, all right, you are back. We are checking out what is new in Star Stable for this week's update. The professor needs your help with insect infestation and something that's so big that happened in Star Stable. Okay, check it out whenever we go to settings. Go to creative. We now have a time of day slider bar where yes, you can actually pick what time of day you actually wanna play in. This is so amazing. There was a time when I could only film in the evening time, so all of my video footage looks like this, and yeah, yeah, no, this is not pretty. It's so very orangey. So this is a game changer. You know, like literally a game changer. If you always play during the day, now you can experience what it's like at night. And if you play at night, now you can play it anytime you want, including the orangey sunset time. Also, I heard that they condensed the horses over at Ferdinand's horse market. So let's run over and see if that really is true. Like, remember how it used to be like 13 pages? Now it's like three pages is what I've heard. Okay, so there are the horses. Let's check it out. Oh, there are. Oh, there's only three pages now. Okay, but have no fear. If you go up to one of the horses, like this cute little Shinkatig right here, if you click on it, now you can see all the colors of the horses by just clicking on them and it will just change them out. So they're all here. It's just now they've condensed them down. Loving this. So now you can actually see all the colors. Oh, there's Spirit. Spirit's free. What's he doing? He's just kind of riding in circles. And the new horse buying window is supposed to be available now for all horses. All right, so let's get on with the quest for today. Hey, Mayor Peanut. <laughs> hey, James, what's going on? Do you have a quest today? Uh, can you go into the Wildwoods? There's a weird man there. Four Pinta can't lose tourists, right? And this weird man is just scaring him away. Unacceptable. Please go to the Hollow Woods and find this troublemaker. Rider XP. Okay, there's dots all over my map. Is there something over here? No strange man here. Is this gonna end up being the professor? Oh wait, right there, right there. So there's his tent. Hey, Professor Hayden, what are you up to? I came here to study the infestation in the forest. Surely you have seen the bugs swarming the trees. Tell James and Mayor Peanut, I will leave this area as soon as I have studied the infestation. Of course, I will be done faster if you help me. I would caught a perfect specimen to study, but the smart little creature escaped. Take this jar and get him back. They're over there. Help catch the bugs. Oh no, it's a race and my horse doesn't have happy horses, so it's really slow. Wait, am I catching bugs or am I doing a race? <gasps> That's an infested tree. Wait, this tree is infested too. Ew. Okay, I don't want to get too close. Oh, what, well, you found infested trees? Yeah, let me study them so we can learn what these small creatures are. Ah, uh, yes, your vegan bark beetles. Wondrous small creatures. However, they can be quite devastating to trees that aren't used to them. We should encourage them to move on to a more suitable habitat. Maybe living with me. I'll need to lure them. We'll need some oil and some soap, but good quality, so that the mixture works properly and no bug gets left behind. Go to Harold and Silverglade. He should have what we're looking for. Get the oil. Okay, ah, go around the tree. Here we are. Hey, you need some oil and good quality soap? Let me see what I have. I found some, but I don't have a container for the oil. Any regular old bottle will do. Ask Bonnie, since she has all that recycling she's doing. And while you're gone, I'll keep searching for the soap. Find a bottle. Oh, there it is, behind the horse. Okay, got it. Uh, here's the bottle for the oil. Wonderful, this bottle will do nicely. Let me just prepare it for you. Here's the oil, now as for the soap. I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is that I seem to have run out without noticing, because I don't shower. But the good news is I know where you can get some. Go see Felicity. She knows how to tell good soap from bad soap. Get the soap. Hey, you need some soap? Hang on, I just got a lovely batch the other week. Wait a minute, I can't seem to find it. And it smells like the soap had gone bad too. This one smelled like fish. Ew, fish soap? Someone took it from this box right here. You can see the soap trail. Find out who stole my fish soap. You might be able to catch them if you follow the bubbles. Ew. Wait a minute. Is it leading to this guy right here, the dino guy? This other professor? No. Is it over here? No. Wait a minute. Are we heading off into the wild woods? No, the trail seems to be going back into town. Oh, <gasps> there's a cute little cat. Wait, wait, did you take the fish soap? Where's it going? Oh, it disappeared. Oh. That poor cat is probably hungry. I don't want it to eat soap. That probably did not taste very good. And who's making fish soap anyways? Felicity, there's a cute little cat that ran off. I think it had the soap and I think it's hungry. Clean cat burglary. A cat stole the soap? Oh, I know the scent isn't for everyone, but I do like fish. Here, take this soap. Hopefully it will work for whatever you need it for. Bring the soap back to Professor Hayden. Uh, here you go, Professor. I got the soap and the oil. Thank you. 
Mmm, fish soap. I have combined the ingredients. This mixture would kill most regular bugs. But luckily, the bark beetle is no normal bug. Now, get a move on. Help me spray the trees. All right, hopefully this works. Spray the tree. Oh, look, it turned normal. There's one, there's a diseased tree over there. Give it a little spray. There we go, change it. Ooh, some moss. Oh yeah, there's another one. Give it a spray. Spray this tree. Oh, you can go inside of the tree. You can go totally through it. All right, all the trees have been sprayed. Now what? Well, now I hope that they find a more suitable habitat. Hmm, I'm gonna make a visit to Mayor Peanut. I'll meet you at Fort Pinta. Oh, there he is, Professor Hayden's talking to James. Yeah, I wanna write a book about horses, cause I know so much about them and I ride them all the time. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the bugs are gone and the fishy soap works. Don't you love my smell? I wish there was a carrot soap. Seriously, I'm thinking about writing a book containing all the information about horses. Every breed, every gait, every competition, every whatever. Even though I don't know anything about horses, still want to write the book. Hey, maybe Professor Hayden can write this book for me. Ask Hayden to write a book for James. Uh, Professor, do you feel like writing this book for him? Fine, I'll do it. Knowledge should be shared. But you need to be my assistant because I only know about bugs and fish soap. May I photograph your horse? The horse market at Fort Pinto will serve you well. We'll take a picture of a bunch of different horse breeds, especially the ones that are going to be deleted soon. Ask Ferdinand at the horse market if you can photograph some of his horses. Hey, Ferdinand! It's me, honey. Mind if I take a picture of some of your horses? Mm, yes, you need reference photos for an informational book about horses, of course. Take photos of them. Buy them. Oh, okay. We've got the fjord. Smile. Connemara. Jorvik Wild. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Wait, what are you doing out of the Wildwoods? And the newly updated Appaloosa. It says, place the camera and record your horse walking, trotting, cantering, galloping, and galloping fast. All right, here's the walk. Trot. Canter. Oh, that's what Spirit was doing earlier. Now we need to ask Josh if we can interview some people working at the ranch. Do I have any fun information to share about horses? Did you know that a horse's teeth take up more space in their head than brains? Or that they have 10 ear muscles while humans only have three? Hmm, it's interesting. <gasps> There's Spirit again. Hey, Spirit. He's hanging out at the ranch. Hey, Josh, did you know that you've got Spirit here? <laughs> yeah, why, yes, I do. I know I can also help you with your book about Western riding. Hey, I know something amazing about horses. Do you know that when they're born, they have fully formed hooves? I know that horses graze like sheep, but while sheep have a stomach with four chambers to help them digest their food, a horse only has one, like a human. Horses and humans are the same. Spirit, would you like to contribute anything to this book about horses? Oh, okay. I think he contributed. Thanks, Spirit. There he goes. All right, you've got all the information for this book. Let me work on it. Wait here. It'll be done in just a moment, or a couple of weeks. I have no idea. <gasps> I get a jacket. Bring the finished book to James, yes. Give me that XP and that jacket, please. All right, are you done with the book? Huh, what book? Oh, yes, here. What about me? I want XP. Uh, James, you're an NPC. That's no fair. I deserve a piece of the glory and fame. Where do I get my own horse around here, huh? What, what do I do? Should I ride Mayor Peanut? Anyways, here you go, here's the book. Hand me the book. I want to see it first. Uh, here you go. Yes, and I got a jacket. A comfortable and sporty denim jacket given as a reward for helping Professor Hayden write an amazing book about horses. Yes. Have you guys heard that the Rainbow Festival is going to be coming back? There's so much exciting things happening in Sir Stable. Subscribe. Come join us. We all love horses here on this channel. Love hearts, hugs, horses just for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys. Got this cool new jacket to wear. Oop, recyclable. Need the recyclable. I got it.